This is a I only touch greatness remix. Scan the code and follow. Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Brandon J. McLaren. I play Buckley on Snowfall, and I'm coming up on the I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Check it out. I've always wanted to do it. My goal is Survivor. I was. I, I've always wanted. I've always wanted to be on Survivor. I watch yeah. every episode. I've got or Bachelor in Paradise or one of these awesome, <laughs> so, something awesome like along those lines. And back in the day, I was actually in X Files because they used to film X Files back in Vancouver. I remember yeah. that, man. Yeah, that was like what in the early nineties, the X Files yeah. thing. Yeah, it was like yeah, 90, yeah. 93. I was in this episode. I was like 10 years old. And, and okay. I, just remember, I just remember getting paid like pretty good bucks for just being a. Yeah, actor. right? Yeah. Free food and stuff. And yeah, the, the, as, the a, as like a teenager, you're like, this is great. <laughs> yeah. As, and the catering was good. And it was something that I always regret not following and chasing that dream. And then I basically started trying to be a dj in town and i was doing cl clubs and events and then i was also doing like mixtapes and I, I didn't rap but i managed a dominican artist that rapped and okay he, so he did spanish music here in vancouver and he was pretty big for a while uh you, really you, do, cool. you do music as well yeah you know so that's kind of been like a thing that me and my brother have collaborated on uh really like Kind of recently, I mean, my brother always did it. I did it a little bit like back in the back in the day in Vancouver, but I never got really got that heavy into it. And then about three or four years ago, um, you know, it was Christmas time and me and my brother, my younger brother uh, also lives in L.A., uh, which is yeah. great. Um, you know, we were just like, why don't we like why don't we just like start collaborating together? And and uh, and so, yeah, we've like sold about we sold like four different songs to TV shows um and that's kind of like our little niche like we just kind of make hip-hop and we um you know and i just slang them to tv shows and see if they want to play some and it's been a really cool thing it's been a cool way for me and my younger brother we're really close for us to like kind of collaborate and be artistic together um without any real kind of pressure you know like we don't really feel any kind of pressure to sell albums or nothing we can just put them in tv shows and I think then you get paid that way there's no yeah like you're saying there's no need to sell albums when you can just sell singles yeah. Yeah, you know, and it's sort of, and like I have the plug with all the TV people, so we kind of kind of found our own little our own little niche. It's been pretty cool. And uh, if you're having a dream dinner party, you can invite three famous people that are alive. Who do you want to bring to your dinner? Uh, Malcolm X. Yeah. Um, I want to bring. Uh, do do they can they be alive now? Yeah, yeah, dead or alive. Oh, yeah. Malcolm X, uh, Michael Jordan, um, and uh, uh, maybe John Lennon. Okay. I always yeah. go with Tupac, Seth Rogen, okay. be, being from Vancouver. I'd like to smoke right. with Seth one day. And, <laughs> ah, yeah. And then uh, I always go Paulina Gretzky or Shakira for some eye candy. Yeah, you know, mix it up. I like it. It's a good, uh, that's a strong trio, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> if there was a thousand dollar prize in the line and you had to sing one karaoke song, what song would you choose? Uh, Redemption song, Bob Marley. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there one person that really pushed you as a, in your younger days to get into the music? Or... No, um, the music stuff, uh, you know, I had a, I had a kind of a mentor uh, named Hakeem uh, Hassan and uh, I had actually met him. I was like 15. I met him at, I met him at like the Jamaican picnic in New Brighton Park okay. so I'm like, in like 95. And, uh, and he was sort of like my music mentor and we still keep in touch. Um, and in fact, like years later, I kind of passed him on, uh, passed my brother on to him. Um, and, uh, and so, so he was sort of the guy that I kind of leaned on in my early music years. Um, uh, and so, you know, I always kind of keep him updated with what we're doing now. And, uh, as a matter of fact, so I'm actually, I'm doing a TV show in New York city right now. That's why I'm out here. Yeah. Um, but when I rap, me and my brother are definitely going back and going to record some more stuff and, uh, You're, and keep slanging, keep slanging these songs, man. Especially being from Surrey now with like the number one Canadian rapper is pretty much Mercury's, I would think. 
Oh yeah, I mean, I, I guess Drake is. is yeah, oh, no, of course, I'm, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the, and the weekend, those guys. I, I just yeah, yeah. That, and and Belly, I guess I forget that they're from Canada. Cause they, yeah, yeah, because yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're so huge now. They almost yeah. uh, they almost forget, right? Yeah. So then, uh, Merck obviously being from Surrey. Would you know a Rasta Mike from Surrey? How long I mean, have you been gone? Oh, oh, how man, long have you been? I left, well, I went to university out here, yeah. upstate New York. And then so I back. left I left in 97, came back in 02, and then I left again in 05. And I haven't really oh, been okay. back much at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't really know the scene there anymore. Okay. Um, I know, I do know, like, just through, like, you know, the grapevine that it's grown a lot. Yeah. My, uh, a buddy of mine's a Rasta dude from Surrey, but he's, he's maybe i'm the same age as you and he's maybe 10 years older than me so but oh wow okay i, I, I thought maybe you might have might have known him. what do you mo in, enjoy the most about acting i mean you know for me like you know i think uh hey what's up man can you see me yeah what's up man <laughs> how you doing man doing good doing good that's prince allen he's in kansas city all right, what's up? Nice to meet you, man. Right, nice to meet you too, man. Hey, hey, I love the show that you that you're on, man, and and learning about you, man, is is totally cool, man. So thank you. I appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you for having me. Uh, back to your question, real quick. Um, yeah. yeah, like you know, I think like in my normal life, I'm a little bit like shy and awkward, and I think you know, acting just allows me to sort of connect with people i think that I, I you know i sometimes i think i might have trouble with in real life um and so man like that's why i always say like my li like literally my favorite thing to do in the world is act like it gives me a high i come home from work i feel great I, like i'm buzzing you know what i mean and and so uh and all the other stuff is like whatever like all like the fame and all that other stuff is like i like just doing the thing you know like i like being there and doing the thing that's what kind of gets me going you sign autographs for people when they, you get do you get that happening oh yeah like especially now like being in new york city this summer with snowfall just coming out it's wild like every uh, yeah it's wild yeah that's sweet the, uh, yeah for, the, for those that don't know can you name off some i me and prince know but uh for the people that don't know can you name off some of your past shows yeah, like I said, like I just finished Snowfall. Right before that, I was on The Rookie. Um, you know, uh, before that, I mean, I did show like a big show called Firefly Lane that was real popular uh, over the pandemic. Um, I did a show called Graceland for three years on USA Network. Um, I did a show on, called Ransom on CBS for three years. That was real popular. So, yeah, those are kind of like the more, maybe like the five most recent ones. Yeah. And then going back to the, was your first one Power Rangers? Yeah, that was like my first like lead role in something. Yeah. Um, and that was really dope, man. Like that show low key changed my life. That was like the show. I think I was 25 when I got that. And that was the show that like allowed me to like quit my 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 like my serving job, you know, and yeah, like quit, quit the real after that job. I was like, ah, oh, now I'm just like an actor. And like that when you're 25, that's important. You know, you're not like slanging drinks and having to having to do both. So, yeah, that, that job was really important to me. Uh, what's your most valuable skill as an actor? Oh man, um, I think um, I think it's my uh, my flexibility. You know, um, I'm not like I don't hold I don't hold shit too precious. So I can I can do something a, a bazillion different ways. You know, when, and I think I think that's been my strength. And when I wrote that question down, I my head the answer was versatile. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Basically, all your different. roles have been something a little bit different. Yeah, man, I've been blessed, man. Like love interest, bad guy, a little bit of comedy in there. Um, you know, uh, crack addicted cop. <laughs> you <Yeah>. name it. <laughs> Do you have a favorite role? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Graceland is my favorite role, um, and I think that show ended too soon. You know, I think. I think we we should have at least got one more season to kind of tie up all the loose ends because it ended on such a cliffhanger. And also, like, that cast was amazing. We just all got along so well. 
Um, we shot that show in Miami. So I was in Miami for three years. That was great. <laughs> tough, tough, tough life. <laughs> Right, no, no complaints there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I gotta say, uh, I gotta say that uh, that was my favorite show. 